Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am literally in the middle of Hurricane Hillary here in California as we speak. I'm sitting next to my window and I'm literally have it open so I can watch and make sure it doesn't get too crazy. But in the midst of trying to stay distracted, I did decide to do my hair. And since it's raining, I went for this vibe that's just bringing out the October, the pumpkin spice. Everybody's ready to decorate for like Halloween and Thanksgiving. And this kind of gives me that vibe. This one here is absolutely beautiful. It's like a reverse ombre where typically you start off with a darker root and then you have your middle brown color and then your blonde at the ends this one went reverse we started with the blonde at the top and i absolutely love it it of course is not for everybody and of course it's out of my comfort zone it's out of majority of our comfort zone unless you're like sexy red or something like that but get this i'm gonna love this with like black jeans or like some black leggings some nice thigh high boots a nice warm sweater i would definitely wear this and just add some curls some really tight curls i think it'd be super cute i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial you're gonna see how i went ahead and blended the blonde with my natural complexion without any smoke and mirrors i'm gonna use simple makeup to make the blonde look good and tint the lace it melts is super nice so i wanted you guys to see what we look like from the beginning or what we're gonna look at the end in the beginning but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay ladies let's get right into it here is the star of the show we're going with the blonde ombre lace front wig she's a 613 blonde with the brown and then the natural brown at the end and this is what she looks like on. For my wig in particular, this one is a 26 inch in length. And then the dimensions of the lace is 13 by 4. You can definitely get this one as a 4 by 4 or a 13 by 4. She also comes as a body wave texture, but you can also see that I have this straight. I'm giving you a close-up look at the detail of how beautiful the ombre is ombre -ing. z like definitely did a thing with this one here is what she looks like set as a center part which is definitely how i'm rocking her today there's so much fun and emphasis in the color combo that i just felt like to keep it simple as far as how we styled her today would definitely be more than enough I'm going to go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace around the ears. This is a key detail in customizing your wig to fit your head. This is something that your stylist typically cannot do for you because all heads are not created the same. So if they cut it off for you, maybe it could be too much cut off or not enough cut off. This is a custom situation that is done typically with the wig on the head or your lace wig or head size dimensions already pre-mapped out. Here I am doing the dynamic duo. You guys know this is a key step. Even when I'm doing curly or wet looks, I'm going to go ahead from here and tint the lace. I'm going in with a cream foundation. And as you guys can see, I have this in many different colors. Now here I am just trying to figure out what the best color for me was. I started from the darkest and ended up using the lightest. And I did opt to go in with the center first, kind of to test it out. I have a bad habit of using it in the very front, which will be a bad idea if the color is wrong. Next, I went in with the corresponding foundation powder. These both come from Ruby Kiss. They are very affordable and I get them on Amazon. Of course, they are linked in the description box. And I like to just generously buff this in. Now with the hairline tinting the lace, I typically do this as one of the last steps. But today I wanted to do it at the very beginning before the install process, mainly because blonde is very funny to play with. I find very, very often that the products that work for me all the time typically don't work whenever I do blonde especially 613 blonde so I kind of wanted to go in and make sure to melt with my skin before even doing it because if you wait to the last step and you tint the lace and it comes out orange or too dark or too light or anything like that it's harder to correct it with blonde without it getting a little bit too messy just so happens I hit it right on the nail very first step so I went ahead and cut off the excess lace and we're going to just bond her down with the glueless adhesive and this one does come from bedhead this is a target product or a product that I get at Target but I'm pretty sure you can find it at many different drugstores even Walmart. I also can get this on Amazon and I'll have it in the description box. From here once the wig is bonded down you guys can see I did a very clean install. Playing with blonde on brown skin can get very tricky. It can very very easily look like Barbie doll hair especially when the hairline is very very thick and dense. Now for this one I definitely did not have to customize it or um 
tweeze out the hairline but I did pull a little bit of hair forward typically a lot of people don't like baby hair when it comes to blonde wigs and I wanted to give you guys the satisfaction of not doing like the most but also equally I feel like when you start brown skin with blonde I don't know it just very easily again just looks like thick barbie hair at the front even when it's plucked so i did go in and did that feather light like micro baby hair in the front just to give it something to kind of be the ombre between my skin and the lace and i think it came out great i just set it with the melt belt and for the first time ever that like uh, what do you call it in the back the elastic the velcro got attached to my real hair and wow that hurt that hurt a lot here I am just going in and just silk pressing the ends. Now I did a natural silk press. I did not add any product. Typically I find with blonde it's very easy again for when you add serum or even heat protectant. It gets a little bit stringy a lot easier. So typically I prefer not to put any product. Maybe hairspray when needed with like curls. But with straight hair I just put no product at all. And then I went ahead and feathered out the sideburns and it came out perfect. Okay ladies, so we are done with this look. Now I wanna start off by saying I already know that this is not everybody's taste, but I wanted you guys to see it up close and personal and I wanted you guys to be able to see the full length so you can really catch the vibe. This isn't meant to be like your everyday wig to drop your kids off at school and go to work. This is meant to be your fun outside wig, a festive wig, something that you can switch up to on the weekends for a vacation, for a look, for a vibe. I honestly want to see what it looks like with curls, like some fair faucet away from the face curls. I think it would be beautiful. This one comes from Z-Like as I already mentioned. So I'm super excited. I'm always super excited to work with new brands, especially when it's like me stepping outside of the box and trying something different inside the tissue paper and sticker deuce does say their brand on it i love a good attention to detail and of course they loaded me up with some goodies so of course i will share oh i wish i would have seen this so in the bottom of the package was what looks like a robe and it does say their um name here z light i love this color blue it's absolutely beautiful so thank you for that um they also included a blue bonnet super nice you also get your dust bag and then they did include this little you know goodie bag so inside of it you did get your hd wig caps also got a melt belt because you know, gotta have this, this is essential. And then from there, you did get a baby hair brush, and this one is purple. And then last but not least, you got like a little, nice little jewelry box, gift box situation. Oh, super nice. So it is a necklace, and it does say Z-like on it. Very, very, very beautiful, great quality. Super nice. I love, love, love that for me. But this is the wig, and this is how it came out. I didn't want to do baby hair, but I did want to have something in front. So I did do like sideburns, but I did straight sideburns. I can add something to this to silk them out and kind of bump them a little bit more. But I don't mind them just being straight since the wig is straight. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little look. Be sure to check out Z-Like. I have a direct link to this wig in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.